Hello guys and welcome to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to animate your splash screen like this animation or like this animation. So let's get started. All right, I've already created a Flutter application and inside here, I just have a material app inside it. We're setting the home to the home. The home has nothing, only an app bar saying home. Now to get started, we have to go to the pubspec.yml and we have to add a library. So let's go to the browser and we will use this library animated splash screen. So let's copy this dependency and add it here and click pubget. Now after pubget finishes, we will go back to the main and I will create a stateless widget inside here and I will call it splash screen. And inside here, instead of retaining a container, I will retain animated splash screen. Now we have to specify a splash and we have to specify the next screen. So the next screen, I will give it as this home and the splash make it constant. So it doesn't complain. Now the splash is what do we want to display on the splash screen? First, I want to display the image with with the text. So I've already created an asset folder. Inside here, I have a logo icon. So I will go to popspec.yml and go to the assets and, and inside here, make the asset folder recognizable. Now go back to the main and what I'll do, I'll return a column here you can return for example widget you can return whatever you want this is dynamic it takes whatever you give it now inside the column i will specify a children now the children the first child is image dot asset and i will say asset slash logo underscore icon dot png and that's it then i will specify const text and inside here, I will just say cake app and I will give it some styling. So text styling, text style. I'll change the font size to 40 and I will change the font weight to bold. And I will change the color to white. Color dot white. Now, what I will do also, I will change, okay, I will change the background color inside here to colors dot red, and that's it. We just have to say here animation uh, splash, sorry, splash screen. So let's run the app and see how it appears now. All right, the app is loading. So let's see how will it appear. Okay, we have render flex error and the images and the text are not actually in the center. So let's fix them. All right, now to fix them, we can actually, after next screen, we can give it a splash icon size. For example, we can give it to 250. So let's run the app to see how it appears now. And it does appear better and it's in the center now. So let me show you what else do we have. We have, for example, duration. How much do you want the animation to be? Uh, let's say I, it's by default 2500, which means two and a half seconds. So let's change it, for example, four seconds. So let's rerun the app and see how it appears. And you can see that it fades in, but we can change this animation. We can say, say splash transition, and this is uh, enum, and it takes splash transition dot, and we have many values here. For example, slide transition. So let's rerun it and see, and you can see that it's a slides from the left to, uh, from right to left, and you can also see that once the animation finishes, the Next screen will go from bottom to top. So we can change that as well. We can say page transition type, and this is also an enum, and it takes page transition type. However, 
for certain reason I don't know maybe it will appear uh, in your machine but mine it doesn't appear so I have to import it myself now to import it I will go to here and I will go to here again <laughs> and I'll go uh, maybe here now this is it if I copy this if I go here you can see that it exports the enum and it exports the page transition so if I go back to the main and import this now I have access to those so for example it's by default bottom to top so we can say top to bottom and let's rerun it to see how it appears now after the animation finishes it will go from top to bottom and it does and you can manipulate this as want we have for example left to right with fade and let's change this as well let's say size of transition and let's rerun it and see how it appears and it appears like that and let's see the page transition and that looks nice okay so we can change this to 3000 instead which means 3 seconds we can also specify animation duration and this takes duration so const duration and inside here you can give it for example seconds and let's say we want our animation to run for one second and after two seconds we want it to navigate to the next screen so that's it for the cake app and the image and the text so let's now move to the animated uh, three balls you saw first okay to do that we have to import another package which is Lutte so I will go to the installing and I will copy this dependency Lutte and I will go back to pubspec.yaml and I will paste it after animated splash screen and then I will click pub get and I will turn off the app since we have to rerun it again and after it finishes let's go let's go to the Lutte website which is this website Lutte files I will keep all the links in the description and make sure you are logged in otherwise uh, you can't uh, copy for example we can use lutte.network and we can copy this or we can download it ourselves and you can change the color as you see I will keep the color as this one and you can download it so you can download it from here uh, as JSON or zip or gif or mp4 or customized gif however I've already downloaded it to Android Studio and I've already downloaded it and called it loading circles.json so I will paste it in the assets and I'll close it and I will go back to the main now I don't want the column however I will keep it I will just comment it and here in the splash I will say Lutte dot asset and I will specify assets slash loading dash circles dot json and I will not give anything else just comma here and let's rerun it to see how it appears oh, okay let's run it to see how it appears and as you can see it went from top to bottom but I don't like this animation for this so I will keep it as fade fade looks nicer so let's rerun it now and see how it appears and this looks much nicer so that was all thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and i will see you in the next video